Welcome to Developing with DocuSign. I'm Mei Shea, a member of the Developer Center team. In this screencast, I'll walk through installing and running the Node Quick Start on Windows and the embedded signing code example. The prerequisite to this video is a Quick Start zip file. If you haven't yet downloaded your Node Quick Start, please first follow the steps in the Quick Start Overview page or the How to Download Quick Start video. Quick Start is a software wizard that packages a personalized code example launcher. You can choose from eight programming languages. The Quick Start wizard configures an app in the developer's DocuSign account that can make API calls. These steps are completed for the developer. The launcher is downloaded from GitHub as a zip file. An integration key is created in the developer's account. A secret key is created to enable authorization code grant. An RSA key pair is created to enable JWT grant. Redirection URLs are added, and the configuration file is modified with the developer's personalized information. To run the Node Quick Start Launcher, I must have the Node prerequisite software installed. This list of prerequisites can be found in the README on our GitHub page at github.com slash docusign slash code dash examples dash node. This README is also included in the Quick Start zip file. The README has a description of all the API code examples with their source links to GitHub. I'll scroll to the installation prerequisites section. It says, note, if you downloaded this code using Quick Start from the DocuSign Developer Center, skip items one and two below as they're automatically performed for you. The node prerequisite is step three because Quick Start takes care of step four by pre-populating my developer account information, which I'll show later. In order to install and run the node launcher, I'll need Node.js version 8.10 or later with NPM version five or later. I can follow the link to download the application. I'll scroll to the installation steps in the README. It says, note, if you downloaded this code using Quick Start from the DocuSign Developer Center, skip step four below as it was automatically performed for you. Next, it says, one, unzip the Quick Start file or download or clone the code examples node repository. The Quick Start automatically downloads into my downloads folder. I'll unzip my Quick Start zip file into my c colon slash user slash may dot slash source folder. I'm in my unzipped quick start folder c colon slash user slash may dot slash source slash tally underscore customer underscore portal dash node. Note that the quick start wizard appends a dash and the code language on the end of my quick start folder name. Quick start enables developers to quickly run DocuSign code examples by configuring a launcher with a developer's account information. For the node quick start, this configuration file is located in the config folder and is named appsettings.json. Aside from my email address and name, my unique client ID, client secret, and impersonated user GUID are also displayed in the configuration file. In my DocuSign developer account, OAuth elements have DocuSign names. I can find these OAuth elements on the apps and keys page. My impersonated user GUID is called the API username and is located under my account information. Also, my client ID is called the integration key and can be found under apps and integration keys next to my app name, tally underscore customer underscore portal. In addition, my client secret is called the secret key and can be found by selecting the actions button next to my app name, then the edit button. The secret key is located under authentication. If I forget my secret key, I can create a new one by selecting add secret key and pasting it in my appsettings.json file. Since the appsettings.json file contains personal information such as your name, email address, impersonated user GUID, client ID, and client secret, please don't store it in your source control. I can also view and modify the source files in my Quick Start folder and see my changes when running that code example. The Node Quick Start Launcher will directly open the Embedded Signing Code Example page, which I'll show later. Here's the code for embedded signing in the top level folder. The file name is eg001embeddedsigning.js. I'll change the name of the DocuSign document from lorem ipsum to hello world. This name will be shown when the document is presented in the browser. I save my changes. Two, switch to the folder, cd Quick Start folder name. I'll use git bash to navigate to my unzipped quick start folder, tally underscore customer underscore portal dash node. Three, run npm install. All the dependencies have been installed. Five, npm start. The node launcher runs. Six, open a browser to http colon slash slash localhost colon 5000. I see the consent window from the application tally underscore customer underscore portal. In the authorization code grant flow, the application obtains consent from the individual user to perform actions on their behalf, then receives an authorization code that can be exchanged for an access token, which is required to make API calls. Note that Quickstar also adds a private .key file and configures my appsettings.json file for JSON web token or JWT grant, so I can select that flow after completing embedded signing. Once the user has granted consent to an application, they will not be prompted again unless consent is revoked. I click accept. Next, I see the embedded signing code example. 
All quick starts are pre-configured to run this code example. Embedded signing demonstrates how to collect signatures directly within my app without emailing the signer. Also linked are the API methods used, envelopes create and envelope views create recipient. The links will take me to the developer center pages that describe those methods. The link to the source file will show me the node.js code for embedded signing in GitHub. Now the signer email and name have been pre-populated with my developer account information. I can change the signer email and name. I click submit to send the envelope. I'm taken directly to the document. Now I scroll to the bottom of the document and see that the document name is no longer lorem ipsum, but has been changed to hello world per my modification. I'm going to sign the document and click finish. I'm taken to the signing complete page. I click continue. Now I see the node launcher homepage with all the code examples. I can run the other code examples as well. All these code examples are also available in the other quick start launchers, Bash, C Sharp, Java, PHP, PowerShell, Python, and Ruby. If you have any questions about how to develop your integration with DocuSign, here are some resources. I recommend checking out the Developer Center how-to guides, going to Stack Overflow, reaching out to support, or signing up for API office hours. That's it. Thanks for tuning in. If you're watching from our YouTube channel, please post questions and comments below the video or email us at developers at DocuSign.com.